Today's Storehouse Storytime is brought to you by Purposed Magazine, designed to share the stories of successful moms from all walks of life. Hi friends and welcome to Storehouse Storytime, you guys. I'm Ronnie and you guys, today's story, this book is so fun. It's called Bye Bye Bully, you guys, and it's written by Stacey Bauer, Ill Stacey C. Bauer, illustrated by Eduardo Page. And you guys, this is another super fun book um, and another one that was chosen by some of our friends. And so I mentioned how I sent out like a list of about 50 different books that you guys could choose from. That list is still available for you guys to choose if you like. Bye Bye Bully was chosen off of that list, y'all. And so our friend Lincoln. So Lincoln, thank you for choosing our book, Bye Bye Bully, for us to read for story time today, you guys. Let's get started. This book is gonna be so fun. So it was time for recess. Wyatt and his friends ran toward the soccer field. Chester dribbled the ball down the field. Chester, I'm open, Wyatt called. Sprinting ahead, Chester passed the ball to Wyatt who kicked it into the goal. <laughs> Wyatt spotted his friend Lenny standing on the sideline. Lenny, come play with us. Lenny ran over, stole the ball, and pushed Wyatt out of the way. He dribbled the ball down the field and took a shot. Yeah, goal. <laughs> but why did you do that, Wyatt asked. Lenny had played soccer with them lots of times but had never acted like this before because I felt like it. And Lenny shrugged. <laughs> At dinner that night, Wyatt told his family about Lenny. Lenny was probably just having a bad day. <clears throat> He's never done anything like that before, right? Mom asked. No, Wyatt answered. I'm sure tomorrow will be better, Dad said. But Wyatt wasn't so sure. What if Lenny isn't just having a bad day? The next day at recess, Wyatt was running down the field with the ball when someone shoved him hard from behind. As he fell, he saw Lenny dribble the ball away. Wyatt, are you okay? Chester ran over and helped him up. What's going on with Lenny? Jade asked, joining them. Let's just go to the playground, Tyson said. That evening, Wyatt told his family about Lenny pushing him again. It must be hard having your friend treat you this way. Dad and I should tell you, I'm sorry, Dad and I should tell your teacher what's going on, Mom said. Is that okay? Yes, Wyatt answered with relief. The next day, the teacher made Lenny sit on the bench during recess. Wyatt and his friends had fun playing soccer. They thought their Lenny problem was solved, but they were wrong. Lenny knocked over Tyson's water bottle during snack time. <laughs> Lenny's really got it out for them. <laughs> he laughed loudly at Chester when he made a mistake in math class. Uh-oh. And tripped Jade during gym class. Friends, why do you think Lenny is behaving this way towards his friends? These were once his friends. Let's read about it. Let's continue to read all about it. When Lenny pushed Wyatt out of the line on the way back from gym class, Wyatt told the teacher. Lenny, Wyatt says you pushed him in the hallway, the teacher said. I didn't. He's lying. Lenny scowled at Wyatt. Lenny, I want you to stand at the front of the line from now on. Wyatt, you stand back here. Both of you, please keep your hands to yourself, the teacher said. And as soon as the teacher turned away, Lenny shot Wyatt a nasty look. You're such a baby, he hissed. <laughs> Have you guys experienced anything like this, y'all? Where your teachers are having to separate you and someone that you're causing trouble with? It's very necessary. It can be a distraction when you're doing things in school. At dinner that night, Cammie chattered about her day while Wyatt pushed his food around with his fork. Why did Lenny lie to our teacher? 
I thought he was my friend. Why did Lenny call me a baby? What if he is even meaner tomorrow? These are all the thoughts that Wyatt is having now that his friend Lenny is behaving very mean towards him. Is everything okay? Dad asked later that night. Wyatt didn't answer. Mom and I are here to listen. If something's going on, we'd like to help you solve it, Dad said. Okay, Wyatt said. He closed his eyes and pretended to go to sleep. But he lay awake for a long time. I thought I was doing the right thing by telling the teacher. But maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe I shouldn't have told mom and dad either. Things just seem like they're getting worse. Uh-oh. The next day, Lenny wasn't at school and Wyatt's parents surprised Wyatt and his friends with a martial arts class. The sensei taught them deep breathing, how to be a peacemaker and how to focus on positive thoughts. Instead of thinking, I am such a baby, Wyatt thought, I am brave. Instead of thinking, I am weak, he told himself, I am strong and I believe in myself. Now that type of thinking, you guys, I like it. Over the next week, Wyatt and his friends went to martial arts every night and faced Lenny at school each day. When Lenny knocked Wyatt's books out of his hands, Jade and Chester just picked them up. We are kind. When Lenny stepped on Wyatt's heels, he faced Lenny and told him to stop in a loud voice. I am strong, Wyatt said. During recess, Wyatt and his friends even invited Lenny to play soccer with them. Now that's very big of them, right? If Lenny started being mean, they just let him have the ball and went to play something else because we are peacemakers. Guys, I love this. When Lenny laughed at a mistake Wyatt made in math class, Wyatt thought, everyone makes mistakes. I believe in myself. But when Lenny pushed Wyatt out of line again, he felt frustrated. This isn't okay. He took a deep breath. I am brave. Lenny, you're being a bully. You keep pushing us around and calling us names, Wyatt stated. Jade, Chester, and Tyson all agreed. You used to be our friend. Why are you being so mean? Tyson asked. Lenny shrank back a little and shrugged. We're not afraid of you, and we're not going to let you push us around anymore, Chester said. They told the teacher everything. She promised to keep a closer eye on Lenny. During dinner, Wyatt told his family about school. They were proud of him for talking to his teacher and standing up to Lenny in a nice way. Wyatt felt better, but something was still on his mind. Why is Lenny acting this way? The next day, Wyatt and his friends saw Lenny at the park with his older brother. Lenny's brother was pushing Lenny around the basketball court, laughing and calling him names. Hey, Lenny, Wyatt called. Want to play with us? Lenny's brother stopped, looked up in surprise, and ran off. Jade and Chester nodded. Really? You want to play with me? Lenny asked as Wyatt helped him up. Sure, Tyson agreed. On the way to the playground, Wyatt asked, is your brother always like that? Yeah, you should tell your parents. My dad doesn't live with us and my mom's at work all the time. Plus, if I tell, my brother might be even worse, Lenny said. I still think you should tell your mom. I was afraid to tell my parents too, but I'm glad I did, Wyatt said. I'm really sorry I was so mean to you, Lenny said, sadly. 
Wyatt thought for a moment. Wyatt thought for a minute. Do you want to come to martial arts with us tomorrow? My parents can pick you up, Wyatt offered. And here we see a whole lot of friendship and excitement happening, you guys. I absolutely love to see that. Wyatt, I'm open, Chester called. Wyatt dribbled the soccer ball down the field. He kicked the ball to Chester, who scored. Goal. Can I play? Lenny asked, hopefully. You can play as long as you don't cheat, Chester announced with a smile. And no pushing or tripping anyone, Jade said. Okay, <laughs> Lenny smiled. Can I be on your team, Wyatt? Wyatt nodded and gave Lenny a high five and a smile. They ran toward the field to start a new game. The end. You guys, I love it. Now, this is not always the picture of friendship, you guys. Sometimes you do have to deal with a friend who becomes a bully or someone who was never a friend and they're just bothering you or being a bully towards you. Always tell absolutely always tell I know it may seem like it's okay to keep quiet you may be even afraid or worried or concerned so you keep quiet to keep from maybe um, pushing any of your bullies buttons let me tell you you guys be brave you are brave you guys are strong you guys are amazing be brave step up and tell someone because your protection your safety is absolutely number one talk to someone about your bully alrighty thank you guys for an awesome storehouse story time thank you Lincoln for choosing this amazing book for us called bye bye bully until next week you guys have a fantastic week